Anti-radiation missiles might sound like something out of a superhero movie, but they are very real and very important. These missiles are designed to find and destroy enemy radar systems, which are the eyes and ears of modern militaries. Without radar, an army is like a driver at night without headlights, completely in the dark. So, today, we're pitting two of these high-tech missiles against each other. Turkey's Akbaba and India's Rudram 1. Think of it as a heavyweight boxing match, but with more explosions and fewer concussions. We'll compare their tech, range, warheads and operational status. Ready? Let's get started. The Akbaba missile is Turkey's pride and joy in the anti-radiation missile category. Developed by Roketsan, it is designed to locate and destroy enemy radar installations. Think of it as a heat-seeking missile, but instead of heat, it tracks the electromagnetic emissions from radar systems. The Akbaba uses a passive radar seeker, which means it can detect and home in on radar signals without alerting the enemy. Sneaky, huh? It's got a sleek design too streamlined for aerodynamic efficiency. This missile isn't just about brute force, it's about brains and brawn working together. The Akbaba is all about precision. Imagine a ninja with a rocket launcher. That's Akbaba in a nutshell. Enter India's contender, the Rudram-1 missile. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, the Rudram-1 is India's first indigenous anti-radiation missile. It's designed to take out radar systems and communication hubs, which are critical for enemy defenses. The Rudram-1 is versatile. It can be launched from various aircraft, making it a flexible option for the Indian Air Force. DRDO has equipped the Rudram-1 with an advanced passive homing head that can detect, classify and engage targets over a wide band of frequencies. Just like Akbaba, the Rudram-1 is built for speed and accuracy. And with India's commitment to indigenous technology, it's a point of national pride. Now, let's dive into the guidance systems of these two missiles. The Akbaba uses a passive radar seeker. What this means is that it doesn't emit signals. It just listens. It's like eavesdropping on a conversation and then deciding to spoil the party. On the other hand, the Rudram-1 employs an advanced passive homing head. This smart piece of tech can detect and classify different types of radar emissions. Imagine it as a missile with a PhD in radar studies. Both systems have their merits, but the Rudram-1's ability to classify and prioritize targets gives it a slight edge. So, in the battle of brains, Rudram-1 takes a slight lead. Section 5 Range Comparison Next up, let's talk about range. The Akbaba has an impressive range of about 150 kilometers. That's like hitting a bullseye from a different zip code. The Rudram-1, however, boasts a range of about 250 kilometers. That's a whole 100 kilometers more than Akbaba. This extended range allows Indian forces to engage targets even further away, keeping their aircraft out of harm's way. In the range department, Rudram-1 clearly comes out ahead. Section 6. Warhead Comparison The Akababa is equipped with a high-explosive warhead designed to cause maximum damage to radar installations. Think of it as a sledgehammer. It's not subtle, but it gets the job done. The Rudram-1 also packs a high-explosive punch, but it's designed with a bit more finesse. Its warhead can be programmed to detonate at different stages, optimizing the damage depending on the target. So, while both missiles can deliver a devastating blow, Rudram-1's warhead offers a bit more versatility. Section 7. Operational Status Contrast Finally, let's look at where these missiles stand in terms of operational status. The Akababa is currently in the advanced stages of development, with testing ongoing. The Rudram-1, on the other hand, has already been inducted into the Indian Air Force. This gives India a significant advantage, as they can deploy the missile right now. In the world of military tech, being operational gives a big boost to a missile's credibility. 
Section 8 Conclusion So, who's the winner in this missile showdown? Both the Akbaba and the Rudram one have their strengths and weaknesses. The Akbaba boasts a solid design and a capable guidance system. But the Rudram one edges it out with a more advanced targeting mechanism, longer range and operational status. In the end, the Rudram one might have a slight upper hand, but the Akbaba is not far behind. Both missiles represent significant advancements in their respective countries' defense capabilities. In this tale of two missiles, we see innovation, precision and a touch of friendly rivalry.